Hopefully a pirate's jersey counts as pirate attire. Hey, what's up? I'm Allie and welcome back to my channel. We are less than a week away from setting sail for the Scally Wagathon. It starts on Sunday. And if you don't know what the Scally Wagathon is, it is a readathon that I host with my best friends, Amanda from Read All the Books and Vanessa from Paper Fairy. And it is a choose your own adventure pirate themed readathon. I will leave a link to my announcement video as well as our website down below and the Twitter since that's going to be quite useful next week. Anyway, since I am indecisive as all hell, we know it, during a readathon I just can't commit to a single TBR and I need choices. I need choices. Um, I have, um, hmm, quite the stack to talk about today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I did decide to give myself two path choices because, um, I can't decide and we will just see in a moment what I end up doing. I am kind of favoring one path choice over the other, but we will see. So let's talk about the first path that I plan on doing. Let's start at three, which is I, I, Captain. For some reason, I did not know so many people were going to like this challenge when I made this challenge. I thought people were gonna hate it. <laughs> I was like, this is so dumb. But this is a challenge that, where the title has to have two eyes in the title. For this, I have selected Trail of Lightning. This is a Navajo inspired apocalyptic story and it is based around Navajo myths and legends. And so this does work for other challenges as well. Whitney over at Darker Shade of Whitney actually recommended this in the Scally Wagathon recommendations video and we have it listed on the website. So I thought it was something that I need to read. She said it was really quick paced and a really quick read. It has some witches, it has some tricksters, it's got monsters. So I'm very excited about this and I think it's gonna be a really great start to a readathon. From three, I would go to six. And six is Body Songs and this is something that has a romance in it. For this, I would probably pick up Daughter of the Siren Queen. This is the second and last in the Daughter of the Pirate King duology. I don't know why I put this off for so long. I have had this on my TBR for years now and it's been on my Scallywagathon for like the past two years and for some reason I just never get around to it. I like this series. I like the first one a lot and I think I would really enjoy this. I love Trisha Levin Sellers writing so I don't know why why I'm reluctant. The first one follows, uh, what was her name? Alosa and she has been taken captive by an enemy ship but that's her plan all along because she is hunting for something for her father who is the Pirate King. So I'm very excited. I enjoyed the first one. I enjoyed the couple that is happening in this. So maybe this will be the year. I do think that Vanessa and I might end up buddy reading this. So that's a great incentive for me to actually finish the damn thing. From six, I would go to B. Now B is the only challenge that is going to be on both of the paths that I take. B is Lost at Sea and this is a book that you have forgotten that you own. And honestly, pick one from my shock. Like, I am big on reading my library books first one because, you know, you gotta return them. So I tend to forget about my owned shelves a lot. But there is one in particular that really stuck out to me and that is where the world ends. I remember being very excited about this when I first got it and being really intrigued by this. It is about these boys who go to this island to go bird hunting. Is that right? Yeah, they go to hunt birds. They go to this remote island to hunt birds and then no one comes to pick them up. And they think the world is ending because why else would they be abandoned on this island? So uh, I think this is very fitting to the overall theme. It sounds like it could be quite intense. So uh, yeah, also fits the Lost at Sea theme pretty, pretty spot on. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about this. I cannot believe that I just forgot about this because I remember thinking this sounded so good. Maybe we'll get some Lord of the Flies action in there. Apparently my camera just cut off here, but then I would go to 10, which is gold to balloon. I have heard mixed things about this, but I think since hearing other people talk about it, I feel I'm better prepared for what this book is actually about. It's much more, I believe, about their friendship than anything and the struggles that they're going through. One of them is a siren and there's some 
issues being had and there is siren murders happening and they believe that she might be responsible. So I think it's dealing with that but I think it's definitely more about their friendship more than anything. And then that is the first path. The second path would actually start at two instead which is Deep Sea Legends and this is based around myths or legends and obviously Trail of Lightning would also work for that but I really 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 want to read the Zoom the Zoombies. Oh my god that is not it. The Zoombies and I believe this is inspired by Caribbean myths and folk tales and whatnot. Um, but this is a middle grade and I think it just sounds so good. This is about a girl who is not afraid of anything. Not even Jumbies, because they're a myth. They don't, they don't exist. That is until she thinks that she sees something that she thinks is a Jumbie. And then this very beautiful stranger shows up and is seen talking to the town witch and then all of a sudden this very beautiful person and is in her house and talking to her father. So she needs to find out who this person is, if they're a Jumbie, and what the heck is going on. And then I also have the second one, so I might just binge read these as one because they are quite short. They're middle grade. I can probably find the audiobooks of them and just fly through them. Um, but that you can see there is some sort of like sea creature siren type thing on this, so I think that could be very fitting. I keep talking about like the sea type thing, but of course none of the reading that you do has to be based around the sea, not pirate themed. No, it doesn't have to be any of that. I just personally have chosen these things. We tend to keep the prompts pretty basic so that you can find just about anything to work for them. From number two I would end up going to seven which is Precious Cargo which is a middle grade. I just been really loving middle grade lately and I really wanted to do this prompt but it wasn't in my original original path which is kind of why I chose this one as my backup path but of course Jumbies would work but I also have Lin Tang and the Pirate Queen, and I checked this out from the library almost a year ago now. I don't want to talk about it, so I definitely need to get around to reading it. I was almost saving it for the Scallywagathon. Like, it reached a point where it had been so long since I had it checked out, and I was like, I'm just going to save it now. But then we kept pushing back when we were going to have it. Anyway, so this is about a girl who really wants to be a pirate, so she ends up joining a pirate crew, but she finds that pirate life is not all that it's cracked up to be and is much harder than she thought. On top of that, she also finds out that her best friend has, has become a stowaway and ha is guarding some secrets that could change everything. She's kind of struggling between her loyalty to her new captain and her, her best friend. But there's a lot of things going on in the background of this cover that are not talked about in the synopsis and it seems like it might be more action-packed than it has led me to believe. So I'm quite excited about this. This is a thicker middle grade, but the font is quite large. So I think it'll be fun. Achoo! Excuse me. From seven, I would end up doing the detour of B again, which again, locks at C, and I would probably still choose where the world ends, but I also have an option for possibly a thriller in which I would probably choose something in the water. I don't know much about this and that would just be if I'm in a thriller mood. But going from there I would do the last stop and for this I decided on this path instead I would choose nine which is black sails and this is a black cover and I was thinking maybe Empire of the Wild. This I got a while ago at a library event and at the time I hadn't been hearing anything on booktube being said about it but a lot of people were coming up to me saying how good it was and I was like I haven't even heard of this and I have been seeing this popping up more on booktube and this is about a woman whose husband has been he disappeared and he's been gone for like a year and then she sees him out one day but he claims he doesn't know her he has a whole different name he claims that he is a preacher and that he is all about to getting people to follow God and his flock and things like that but she thinks something darker is happening with him so she ends up pairing up with the what what is he the foul mouth card shark who is one of the few in her community steeped in the traditions of her people and know about their ancient enemies so she ends up pairing up with him to see what in the heckity heck is a happening this is based around the people are matey mateys people. Um, I believe that that is a Canadian Indian group. It says that they are one of the three divisions of Aboriginal peoples in Canada. So I don't know much about the Métis people. I don't know, maybe this will shine a little bit of light and maybe it will lead me to do more research about 
that group of people. So that is my my kind of TBR. <laughs> You guys, you guys know how I am. I'm a hot mess. Are you guys participating in Scally Lagathon? What are you reading? Also, make sure that you link your TBRs down below if you have done them because I want to see them and I want to add them to the TBR playlist. I hope that you guys are as excited I am about the Scally Lagathon. I hope you guys have liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see future videos from me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.